Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man, Primetime, and you already know, you on Primetime Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video, and you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. Oh, man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, what's going on with the world right now? Right now man not only do we got some killer out here going live on twitch going in a grocery store in buffalo new york and shooting and killing 10 people man then he films it and he shows himself pointing his gun at a a, 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 a white um cashier and he says oh i'm sorry and then goes to point and shoot and kill 10 black people Man, this world is getting crazy. Then on top of that, you think that's all that's going on in the world today? Huh? Nah. Uh. How about Rajon Rondo allegedly pulled a gun on the mama, his kids, threatening her life during the outburst? Man, what in the world, man? I don't know. I guess it's something dealing with with him seeing his kids or whatever. But the story is, is that. Uh, 36 year old Ashley Batchelor, Rondo's former partner and mother of his two kids, filed for an emergency protective order in Louisville last week requesting protection for her, her son, and daughter. And the story she tells about the alleged incident is scary. Batchelor said that Rajon, a two time NBA champ and a four time All Star, was playing video games with his son on May 11th when Ashley asked the boy to separate laundry. Bachelor says Rajon became enraged and ripped the game console out of the wall in front of the kid. Ashley says Rajon then continued the destructive behavior, smashing everything from a teacup to outdoor lights and trash cans. Bachelor says the kids were upset after witnessing their dad losing it. So she tried to de escalate the situation, but she says Rajon responded by making a death threat, allegedly saying, You're dead. What? Rondo temporarily left home, according to Ashley, before returning about 15 minutes later when he allegedly approached a back door and began banging on the window with his gun. Dang, what's going on with Rajon? Bachelor says she didn't know what was going on, so she approached the door from the inside to take a look. She allegedly saw Rondo with a weapon and asked him to stop because he was scaring her. She said Rondo didn't listen and instead yelled, get go get my effing son ashley says she feared if she didn't comply with the alleged gun wielding hoop star something bad may happen so she brought their son pierre downstairs but kept the back door closed soon after ashley says pierre opened the door and rondo yanked him outside bachelor says rondo who was still allegedly holding the gun was screaming at pierre asking the boy why well, he's scared of his dad, Ashley, who claims her son was visibly upset, says she didn't intervene because she was scared Rajon would shoot her. Dang! Bachelor say Rajon eventually demanded their daughter also to come outside, where she claims he yelled at both the kids for being afraid of him. Thankfully, Ashley say Rajon's mom and dad both arrived at home, and although they didn't have much success in calming down Rajon, she claims he eventually left the scene. But now, Bachelor says she's scared for the safety of her kids and herself, writing the following emergency order of protection on May 13th. Dang, y'all. I'm extremely fearful for my safety and for the safety of my children. Rajon has a history of volatile, erratic, explosive behavior. He is verbally, emotionally, and financially abusive. He physically hits our son and calls him names like P and accusing him of acting like a B. Uh, Rajon verbally assaults our daughter. He calls her names like Thought, Biage, D Head. Rajon has made several threats on my life, saying at various times he will shoot me or shoot up my car. Ashley Bachelor was granted protection for, for herself and for her two children by local judge. And, uh, you know, look, man. 
<sighs> so right now, Rajon Rondo is not being named a suspect of any crime by the police and has not been arrested. But man, you know, we know Rajon, you know what I'm saying? We know he's always been kind of a hothead on the court, you know. I mean, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I think it's a lot of people in this world, man, that has not been diagnosed with bipolar um, uh, abnormalities in their minds and their thought process and the way they act and things of that nature. You know, how somebody can go from zero to 100 or, or they be nice one minute and then be violent the next minute. Me, personally, honestly, I truly do believe that that is some type of mental illness that a lot of people have in this world today, but they, you know, we don't have the money, the access to whatever, which Rajah does, but, you know, when you can play ball and be at that type of height in your career, then, you know, you're protected, you know, you're selected to be protected. <laughs> And, um, you know, this this just got to stop, man. Everybody got to calm down, take a, take a deep breath, you know, like chill out. Like, what's going on? Why is, why is everybody so violent and ready to kill, you know? And you still got these, you know, violent uh, people with Uzis and all these weapons, mass destruction and stuff. And then you got Ukraine and Russia going against each other. Come on, y'all. Take the hate out of your heart, for one. Just chill out. Take the hate out of your heart. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Try and figure out what makes you happy. Get to that place. Dang. If you know going around this person is going to make you violent, don't go around. If you feel as though uh, uh, black people made it hard for you, go somewhere where it's a bunch of white people there. Dang. You know, with all this killing, mass murdering, and and threatening your, your mother, your kids with guns and all this. Come on, man. Really? 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 That's what you about. That's what's on the inside of your spirit. That's what's wrong with your mind. You just want to kill something. You just so negative. You just, you don't care about nothing. Rajon, man, you got too much to be thankful for, man. You know, money out the kazoo, man. You know? Sometimes them people with all the money got to get back to the basics a little bit because too much money creates too many problems, too many things you paying out to where, you know, a, a, a small check wouldn't even scratch the surface of your bills. So, you know, man, people just got to put it in a better perspective on what you want out of life, who do you want to be in life, and what are you willing to do to get there? You know, but all this blaming somebody else and hating somebody else and ready to kill and pick up a gun and shoot and kill. Just pick the gun up and shoot and do something to yourself. Don't harm nobody else. Dang. You know, I don't even want you to harm yourself, but dang. To harm somebody else? That's, that's wrong. That's just wrong. You know, and you can't expect for nothing to ever go right in your life if you take somebody's life. You know, for real, you can't expect things to always be the way you want it to be. But dang, you ain't got to kill nobody to make yourself feel better. Now, that's crazy. That's the that's the definition of crazy right there. You're going to harm somebody else to make yourself feel better, which is definitely not going to make you feel better. It's going to make you look worse. Uh, all I can say is I'm going to keep my. You know, my ears to the street on this Rajon Rondo thing. You know, I will, you know, stay on top of it and keep y'all up to date with this and with the shooter of that grocery store. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy, man. It's just a crazy time we're in. You got to stay prayed up. You got to stay positive. You got to stay around people you love and stay out of areas to where you think you may be in danger. So... Anyway, look, all I can say is, is that I hope the rest of the world see these examples of ignorance and craziness and drama and realize you don't want that in your life. It's enough already going on. I'm pretty sure everybody got enough going on in their life right now the way they don't need no more drama, period. 
I don't want no more drama, do you? So, anyway, man, I, I really hope, you know, the world can somehow mend itself, heal itself, get back together again, and get back refocused again. And we, we get on a, a, a wavelength of, of peace, love, and happiness again, and success, and making money, and living good, longevity. That's what I want. That's what I'm speaking out of my mouth. I'm not speaking no negative stuff, so... Anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for you in this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV and I'm on social media everywhere. And definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com, and cop you some merch, hat, shirts, something. All right, y'all. Peace. Hey, number love. All right.